Hey guys, so today we're gonna do another quick uh, recap tour of one of my previous builds. This is my version three build, and this is the stealth build. So my, my focus was making it very stealth, and it's for two people to camp in, but not a couple, two individuals, so they're set two separate beds and things like that. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I used some of the old ideas from the second build, and you'll see something familiar. But the idea was I wanted to start with some IKEA console cabinets and build around that so first off the bat is my solar panels my power for the car is powered by mainly these solar panels and the battery big old battery that I have it's a lithium iron phosphate battery that I have it's huge here is the power inverter that I have also it's also very big this is a pure sine wave power inverter and again I'll leave a link for all these things I had already moved removed the center console and I put the refrigerator in here this time and that's my center console this time and, you know it, it does fit pretty nicely um, the only thing is you know you, I have to climb over the refrigerator to get to the back unlike my previous build where the space was empty I could just walk oh I got my walkie talk and the nice thing about this walkie talkie that I have here it is just a USB rechargeable battery but inside it's just regular um, double a batteries so these are walkie-talkies that are rechargeable, but they also double as my battery recharger. Go in here, I got some pepper spray. Over here, got my first aid kit, um, you know, hydrogen peroxide, uh, a horn just in case, you know, bears or something to scare off the bears. One of the reasons why I wanted to do a big sink on this build was that uh, I wanted to, the sink to double as storage space too. And that's why my sink is so big. And I, I do, it does double as storage space. Uh, one of the things I store in there is this air conditioning unit that I have. My water dispenser. It works great. It's just, it's rechargeable battery. It looks like a faucet, but it's really just a water dispenser. I travel with it in the sink and then I, I put it there. Here, these are 1.2 gallons and uh, it's usually plenty of water for what I do. See this cabinet, the way I did it, and remember this is a two person sleeper. What I do for the second person sleeper is that this leg will come up like that. Uh, so, you know, when I'm driving for extra support, I put the leg down, but it, it'll support fine with, without the leg and the person, the second person will sleep under here. And I'm driving, I have these child safety locks and they, they keep the cabinets closed or so doesn't open and close as I'm driving around. All the handles I replace with just a little rope drawstring. And if you could see, I cut down this cabinet. I, I cut it shorter so that it'll fit underneath the sink so that I can fit in all this, all this stuff. I got my grill, my spices, uh, my stove, my spices and all sorted stuff in there and it fits right underneath the sink um you know what i have my light switches uh, these light switches are great and you can't see how well they work right now but it to be dark before i show you guys these lights and you can see it's, it's pretty darn bright just the lights from inside with just that one on let's turn on the other one right here that lights up the sink area there it lights up pretty well let me show you guys the these you know it's just something soft not really bright uh before you go to sleep type light and you can see you know, it still does a pretty good job and the nice thing about this guy is you could actually dim him this guy right here so if you need to use the restroom at night you don't want it to light up the whole thing so here you turn on that light use the restroom maybe even you want to be on the lowest light so i have this cabinet here that i built for um, to fit within that window slot right there. And this is basically my pantry. I got canned foods and whatnot. Uh, that's held in with a magnet right there. I got my thermometer right here. Um, I got my carbon monoxide detector. The, uh, the TV console has two drawers. This one, this drawer is a big drawer. I didn't tinker with it in any way. So I have my pots and pans and cutting boards and aluminum foil and whatnot. Really well, there's a, there's quite a bit of storage in there. So over here, 
I have a power strip, and this power strip uh, is connected to the inverter. There's USB ports and the power in. That's what I power, that's what I, this port is what I plug in the microwave into also. So the microwave, um, when I'm traveling, it'll for sure always kind of be right here, but um, after I get to my destination, Okay, so this is the first scenario where I could keep it up here. Uh, if I want to leave this space back here free, you know, for in the middle of the night, if I want to use the restroom in this area back here. Uh, but if I don't want to do that, I can also leave it down here. It fits very nicely in this space over here. Uh, that's important because it a two sleeper, two separate beds, and that will lead us into the bed number two. So I'm going to lift up these legs. I have two and now I'm going to demo what it looks like when there's a second person sleeping underneath. Okay, so I have this pad, this portable pad. All right, so you can get a shot of the whole thing. You can see there's actually still plenty of room. This is a foot, six foot mattress. You want uh, if, if you're a little bit taller, but anyways, the idea is that the person would sleep here underneath. And the way I made it is, so I designed it so that there's just enough room for you to turn over. If you want to turn over, you won't be hitting anything. And the idea is that you sleep here, there's plenty of room down here, but the main thing is that your torso is free. So, you know, when this place is, your torso is opened up, you're not going to feel real tight. And uh, this actually may even have, in some ways, have more room than this one because you can spread out your arms. All right, so for my main bed, uh, you could sleep it two ways. You could just sleep it as as is. Just go to sleep as is, and there's there's enough room. You're, you're comfortable. Uh, I have that same philosophy up here where your torso is a little bit more open than the rest. But I have the expansion, which pull out. And you have a six inch larger bed. Let me show you this. There's even more room to move around. And you're by yourself, and even if the second person is sleeping, it's still okay because it's still above uh, the sleeping area. So now we're back here. Uh, and it, uh, this is the bathroom cleaning up area. I keep my water here. And one th I like to use um, you know, containers from from you know other things this is a tea container it, it works out great it's inexpensive and it's disposable if i don't want to you know recyclable if i don't want to clean it or whatnot but this one i like to use or this type is because it's square because it's square it's much more space efficient and it fits in there really well and basically the shower is you know i'm going to be sitting here showering and here's the shower curtains Here's the shower tub. The shower tub right down here. You can kind of see it there. But if you want to see the, the full shower setup, you know, go ahead and click that link that I had before. And underneath here is just some storage. I could, you know, for my gear. This area here, this is my, my bathroom sitting area. So I could take a shower sitting there. I carpeted it. But underneath, it's also my, my toilet, my emergency toilet that I never want to use. <laughs> Hopefully we'll never use it. And it's all, I can also access the stuff from a drawer, you know, bags and got my toothbrush and kitty litter here. Um, and you know, bottles for stuff that you might need. Toothbrushes, a shovel, cause I'd rather much do number two outside. All right, so over here, or again, the TV console cabinets. I have the drawers, and here I have like the big pan. What I have here is a leveling. So this, this, this bed, I made it so that it, I could easily lift it up and, and then shove this piece of wood underneath. So if you're not on level surface, you know, you could easily level yourself on the front side or the back side, depending on which side you need to level. Uh, but that, that's actually really handy too, because you're almost never going to be level. Three drawers, you know, clothes drawer. You know, I got my little rice cooker. Here I, I keep all the the window darkening reflectex. So if you want to go in stealth mode, you know, just put this over all the windows. And, uh, you know, 
keep everything nice and dark, but it's also a pretty good insulator. So if, if it's a little cold at night and you want it to keep your car a little bit warmer, I recommend you, know, you cut some of those and put it over your windows and it'll keep things nice and warm.